Greetings from St. Luke Parish. Dear sisters and brothers, as you may be well aware, a few days ago the governor introduced the phase one of opening the state and slowly returning back to normal life. As far as the church is considered, nothing really changed and we will remain close until further notice. Perhaps many of you share a great deal of disappointment and even discouragement with this decision. I know I do. It has become increasingly more difficult to celebrate Mass without the faithful, to be on the lockdown, to keep social distancing, everything that really goes against the dynamic of being a disciple of Jesus, to go and to proclaim the good news, to break bread, to share in the fellowship, and to build the community of faith together. It truly feels like a, a shepherd without a flag. But also, especially during the season of Easter, we experience the Lord as He meets us on our journey of faith. And we do so especially when we need Him the most, when our hopes and expectations seem to be dashed. So here, here He comes again as we prepare to celebrate the fourth Sunday of Easter, Sunday called the Good Shepherd Sunday. Friends, the message is loud and clear, filled with unbelievable hope, trust, courage, and faith. The shepherd knows his flock, and they recognize his voice. I think the same can be said of us, members of St. Luke Parish community. Of course, there is a sense of temptation, uh, to cry out loud and, and share our disappointments during this time. But there is also a message of tremendous comfort, message of confidence with the lessons that the Good Shepherd taught us over the years to understand rather than to be understood. Perhaps it is a message that comes with great difficulties in these trying times. But friends, it is the message that we need to pray to embrace. We need to grow in confidence and trust that the Good Shepherd hears our voices clearly and will grant us what we need at the proper time. After all, if we obediently follow the instructions of the government with trust that they are for our benefit, how much more should we trust the Good Shepherd and follow in obedience to experience the great things He has prepared for us, who remain committed to stay within the flock of His faith community? So in our celebration of the Good Shepherd Sunday, we are invited with the Universal Church to focus and to pray for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. Let us remember uh, Father Xavier, Deacon Steve and Deacon Bob, our missionary sisters of the Holy Family, and myself, who are so blessed to serve our parish community. Let us also remember Deacon Mason Wiggins as he prepares for his priestly ordination in June, and our seminarian Charles Bemis, who was accepted to continue his formation in the, at the major seminary in Boynton Beach. But let us also remember and pray for every baptized person since we all have a vocation in life. Everyone is called by God to play a specific role in the Christian community. We as Christian Catholics need to see that vocation 
is something that we are all called to, and of how God is asking me to make a meaningful contribution of myself to building up our community, our parish, even in the midst of these challenging times. Dear friends, as we enter the month of May, May is dedicated to Mary, Mother of Jesus. Today, we are invited with the bishops of the United States and Canada to renew the consecration of the United States of America to the Blessed Virgin Mary. We seek intercession of Mary during these epidemic times as to fulfill the desire of her son, who chose the Blessed Virgin Mary, his mother, to be our mother also. We are called to renew our devotion to Mary with an emphasis on the family rosary during the month of May. We have much to look forward to with the advent of hope for reopening our state and the country and an end of the pandemic and trust in our Blessed Mother. I would like to also extend my most sincere words of gratitude and appreciation for, you, for your ongoing generous financial support. Please know you are a tremendous blessing to our faith community. My friends, may the Lord bless you and keep you. May the Lord let his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. May the, Lord, may the Lord look upon you kindly and give you peace. May the Lord bless you, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Stay healthy, be at peace, and may God bless you.